what made you want to design this guitar? Having a signature guitar is a huge step. It's like, um, I don't even know how to answer the question. Having a signature guitar is like a, how would I explain that? I honestly never thought I was going to have a signature guitar, so this is pretty crazy. So six years ago, I got my first D'Angelico, and it was an XLDC in a surf green finish. What I really liked about it was the sustain and the tone when I played with Overdrive. I used the XLDC on my Jimi Hendrix and Mariah Carey tribute video at Summit, and I chose that guitar because it looks really good on stage, that surf green and the gold. But also, I just love the big, clean tone of a semi-hollow with boutique pickups. Yeah, I fell in love with the tone that day. The Melanie Faye DC embodies my ideal tone. I mostly play fingerstyle. I mostly play like chord melody type things. And this guitar just really handles that well. And it really responds to the dynamic range of my touch. Like when I play soft or play hard, it really makes that apparent. These are the same Kent Armstrong pickups that are in my original D'Angelico, but we added coil split capability. And as you can see, the neck pickup is covered and then the bridge pickup is uncovered. And honestly, I just did that for the aesthetic. Um, it's kind of an homage to Jimmy Page, which is one of my favorite guitar players. With every note you play, there's kind of like this woody percussive character to it. And I've just always loved that sound. rosewood fingerboard and a slim C-shaped neck. And it's pretty much like the perfect ideal combination for what I do. The neck isn't like too slim, but it's not too thick either. It's just the perfect happy medium and it's comfortable. My original D'Angelico has a surf green finish with a pastel quality, but for my signature model, we went with a metallic surf green just as a modern twist. This guitar is limited edition and there are only 50 pieces. And each one comes with a certificate of authenticity signed by me.